home pair up against the world championship bronze medalists from earlier this year, Jiang Shengbang and Wei Ya Sin. So as far as the mixed doubles draw is concerned, this match is from the bottom half of the draw. And you can see that last year's beaten finalist Fang Yang Zhe and Huang Dong Ping. They're safely through to the quarterfinal, as indeed are the other seeds in that section, the number six seeds, Kim and Jong from Korea. Watanabe and Higashino, they're the number two seeds. They were winners of this tournament in 2021. So mixed doubles discipline, littered with former champions and World Championship medalists. This is the home pair of Mistias Christiansen and Alexandra Boya, bronze medalists at the European Games in Poland recently, lost in the semi final to the pair that went on to take the gold medal, Tarbelin and Peak. So the left and right handed combination of Jiang Chengbang and Wei Yasin. Not only bronze medalists at the World Championships, they're actually reigning Asian champions. Won the gold medal in Dubai at the Asian Championships earlier this year, uh, beating uh, the former world champions and the defending champions of the Asian title, Chang Shi Wei and Wang Ya Xiong, who I can tell you have already booked their place in the quarter final tomorrow. They are the number one seeds here and the defending champions. So this will be a third meeting between these two pairs and the Chinese combination have won both previous encounters. Serve. Receive. This side, okay? Enjoy again. So the Chinese pair won the toss of the coin, chose to serve. Let me just elaborate a little bit on that last meeting. It was last week in the quarterfinal of the Arctic Open. That was a 500 event. And at one game all, this man, Matthias Christiansen, had to retire injured. And uh, that's because he had a left ankle injury. He's 29 years of age, as you can see from the island of Bornholm, uh, just off the... Uh, coast of Sweden. 186, that uh, equates to six foot two. And he and his partner are two places down on their career high, which is number eight on the world ranking. You saw that uh, Chris Janssen has been as high as four. That was with his former partner, Christina Pedersen. Alexandra Boyer. Is 23 from Horsens, the medieval town in East Jutland. And 173 equates to 5 foot 8. As she and her sister both play a badminton, her sister Gabriella. Now, in the very first round, they beat the 2017 winners, the two left handers, Tang Chung Ban and Si Yung Sit had been 13-6 up in that deciding game and promptly went 17-18 down, uh, but managed to hold their nerve in the end, the Danish combination, to come through that decider. Xiang Chengbang is 22 years of age from Guilin in Guangxi province, far south of China, near Vietnam. Beautiful mountainous region. They have cormorant fishing there, Steen. The fishermen go on their boats and they train their cormorants to dive down and fish for them. No. I'm serious. Wow. We are Sin is a year older at 23 from Hunan, a landlocked province in south central China. Enjoying their second week at their career high of six. And they've been in six finals so far this year. A beat Midora Kawa and Saito of Japan. Japanese pair won the Canadian Open earlier this year, so that was a, a good result. Just 15 and 16 in uh, that first round encounter. 
You do a spot of fish- fishing yourself, don't you? Uh, I've stopped. You've stopped? Yeah. OK. Didn't really catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> Seamus Halpin, our umpire for this one. And Philip Eyung Chi from Ladies the United and States, our service on my judge. Right, Xiang Zen Bang and Wei Ya Zin, China. And on my left, Matthias Christiansen and Alexandria Boye, Denmark. We are sent to serve to Matthias Christiansen. Love all. Play. Just wrong. Two, love. Now, seen. I was giving information that it was a left ankle injury to Chris Janssen, but he's got that ankle support on his right ankle, which yeah. I think he always wears that, doesn't he? I think I think so Sorry, as well, because I, I think I saw when it happened and it looked like it was the left ankle. Yeah. Well... I can't believe that he's fully recovered since sustaining that injury last week. Um, but obviously fit enough to get on court. So it'll be interesting to see how he copes in this match. Rally. Oh. Oh. Service brilliant. over. Three, one. You were talking yesterday when we were watching matches, Steen, about this Chinese pair, and you were saying that they, along with others, were the best newcomers in the mixed doubles yes, I discipline. Thi I think so. I think so. Um, oh. yes. Service both over. players uh, Two, three, doing one. very well. And their uh, rolls, in my opinion, super quick on his feet. Um, Jung, good touch, and uh, Wei Yashin, strong at the front court as well as the back court. She um, obviously, as many uh, players do in the in the young years, played the uh, women's singles. She actually lost to Lena Christofferson, whom we've just seen in the semi-final of that World Junior Championship, where Christofferson lost over. the final. Four. Very, very three. strong at the net. And I think also we are seeing the uh, tumble serve here from uh, Wei Yashin. It's one of the first females I've seen doing it. Not that one, though. Just wide. Well, it's only Five, a year that three. this young Chinese pair have been playing together. They formed their partnership at the in Indonesian International Challenger event at Malang last October. Reached the final there. In fact, they reached the final of their first five tournaments together. And seven finals in their first eight tournaments together. Because they were playing International Challenger events and... Super 100 events just to get on the world rankings. Oh, it's fast pace rallies, isn't it? Fantastic rallies so far. Six, three. Good serve. Wow. wow. Fantastic play by uh, Seven, Wei Yashin. Three, Matthias. That's good, but Matthias. getting back there. 
attacking with the backhand. That is amazing. Well, the umpire just warning Matthias Kristiansen because he indicated to the service judge that he thought that his opponent's serve was high. You can't try and influence any of the court officials. Oh, that's delightful, isn't it? Eight, that touch, three. being able to hit that exact uh, mixed double spot in between uh, the two players when they play front court, back court. Now, that's just lovely to see. One. Yeah. The run of five straight points comes to an end. Four, eight. And from a Danish perspective, not a moment too soon. Service over. Nine, four. Well, I can remember you and I discussing. I don't think it was when we were watching matches. I think it was probably at breakfast some time ago when this young Chinese pair won the Asian Championships yeah. and beating the then world champions in the final. And, and we were quite astonished by that. But the more I watch this young Chinese pair, the more I understand it. Yeah. Nine, four. They're really strong. They're, they're the only pair who's got a positive head-to-head -head against Jiang Siwei and Huang Yachong. Is that right? The only uh, current playing pair. There is, um, in the statistics, there's a Hong Kong pair, but they ne no longer play together. Right. Ten, four. And I suspect that was only one encounter with the Hong Kong pair, was it? Uh, I think it actually was three, so I'm a little bit... Oh. Um, I'm a little bit... Um, curious as to that stat, whether it's entirely correct Eleven, that four, they have interval. beaten them twice. So to the mid-game interval, and it's a very handsome lead. Seven-point advantage for the Chinese combination. Jiang Xingban and Wei Yasin. I would like to see if we want to hit him more than we want to hit him. He's very good. And if we want to find him, we want to find a hard ball. It's the cruise zone. OK? We start with him. We've got a lot of good shots. Yeah. Let's start with him. Ja. ja. Men jeg synes stadig, at vi skal ind, og så må jeg gå helt hårdt til det der ja. mellemting. Ja. Når de står begge, så sådan her og tvivler. Men i starten får vi en god situation, hvor spiller foran, bøje kommer op og spiller ned til ham, og så spiller han den mellembane igen, så står vi og snorker lidt. Okay? 20 seconds. Okay. Jesper Holgaard, the Danish coach. Yeah. 11, 4. Recommending any drastic Play. tactical changes? When, when they are a little bit below in the rallies, Hoko wants them to, to uh, play um, Jiang more than, uh, Service over. than Wei because he feels Five, that she's really 11. chasing the shuttles well uh, in the front court. So forcing the Danes to play the very difficult uh, shots. But um, yeah. They, they feel they have to be really alert and, and, and be better on the front court. That's a good flick serve. Six, eleven. Another one of the things that they discuss is that even when Alexander Boy is on top of the tape playing it to Jung, he still finds the Service mid court area. Cold, and that's what we've discussed Service that his over. touch is absolutely 12, brilliant. Yeah. Like a Six. sort of the old school mixed doubles player combined with sort of this power of. Um, of um, the new um, generation, perhaps, power, speed of movement and, and powerful smashes. Whoa. Yeah, that over. That's a great smash from Boya. Seven, yeah. 12. Well. 
Service over. Lovely return by uh, 13, Wee. 8. I was just going to say, Steve, there was just enough pace on that. Exactly. It, it, Boyer had to take it when it had gone slightly past her. Yes. In the backhand. Yeah. That's a fabulous Service smash over. from Christy Anson. 9 13. And I think that is that, that block there. That is the, um, the, the, the spot that the game plan should revolve around for the Danes, the backhand side of uh, Wei Yashin. Even though she, we've seen her covering it well, it's still um, an advantage for the Danes if they can uh, play to that area. So the goal is to keep it open. That's good placement too, towards the right hip of oh, Jiang. Service over. Well, he didn't just get it back. Xiang Cheng Bang got it back with interest. Uh, coming full power, Matthias Christiansen. He's not used to people getting that back when he's sitting with the drift. Oi. Short, short back swinging his defense, Jiang Xinbang. Whenever I see that, it always reminds me of Jiang Nan. Well, either he was 15, trying to be very cute 11. there or he changed his mind, Christiansen. I think he tried to play it with a little bit of deception. Service over. 12-15. That's a great serve. Oh, too. he moved very, very early there. Chris Jansen. Yeah. Did you see that? Service I over. Did. So we're going for 16, a set piece. 12. But the shuttle didn't arrive where he thought it would. Uh, it was before that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I think Chris Jensen had to play two extra 16. shots there that he wasn't expecting. Yeah. Such was the quality of the defence from Jiang Chengban. One. Look at that. Two. Three. Couldn't make it a fourth. Uh, again, that over. little deception. 17, that sort of um, can, it, it can be efficient, but here it sort of disrupts the movement.
fantastic oh. play by Wei Yashin. Service over. Okay. Not the last one, but the one previous 18, to that where she placed it into 14. the net. Well, I didn't think the last one was too shabby either. No, that was... <laughs> <laughs> That's perfection. Yeah. What a great rally it was. Oh. Yeah. Going wide. Service over. And it needed to be 15, wide as far as the Danes were concerned because neither of them were anywhere near that. Over. That's good drive defense as well from 19, the left hander, isn't it? That's fantastic 15. defense. She doesn't give away any unnecessary angle to the opponent. Boy is swinging at it, but I think the only thing she can do is actually block it. Oh, great return. Service over. Super shot from Christiansen. 16, 19. Yeah. Service over. Twenty. Speed Game point. of reaction. 16. Yes. Speed of thought as well. After the uh, return, ready with the racket. Yeah. And and just. Look at that. It's not only that he's he's ready for it, he's spotted the gap. Yeah. So his speed of thought to, to think, where do I put this? Well, it's absolutely superb. No wonder Coach is very happy with that. 20, game Young point, Mink. 16. Six doubles Coach for China. Get ready. Four game point opportunities. Only needed the one. Game. Opening game, 21-16. Bang and we Yashin, 21-16. 17 minutes for that opening game. And the Danes with an awful lot of work to do yeah. if they're to make it through to the quarter final. Jeg synes kun, hvis vi går på den korte, hvis det er, hvis jeg var helt, helt kort til hende, og den inviterer til den korte. Ellers så griber du. Okay? Lad os lige administrere, at hendes sav, der er det rigtig svært. Den virker den helt korte, eller ud mod hjørner. Okay? Prøv at høre, stadig her, når vi er ovenpå, vi spiller til masser af gode muligheder, når du spiller lidt foran hende. Men når vi ligger en lille smule ned under, så skal vi bruge banen lidt mere her nu, for der løber hun altså. Okay? Ja, he lidt bedre op. Høre, det, vi, de, spiller, de spiller magisk derovre, og der er nogle ting, vi ikke har omsat på. Måske ikke at ramme der, vi skal. Det smider vi nu. Det gør vi bedre. Det ved vi godt. Men det handler hele tiden om, at hvis vi gør en ovenpå, så spiller vi godt, når vi spiller den foran hende. Og du løber rigtig godt ja. på de korte. Ja. Det skal lige høre. Skal... Det er ja. uh, vi, vi er gode. Vi er rigtig gode. Ik? Vi er også lidt stolpe ud, det stolpe ind. Mm. Skal vi stadig have svipper på hende? Det er godt, når slår. Okay, skal vi? Okay. Men så, jeg synes, vi skal gå hurtigt ud side og side. Ja, okay, så lad os gøre det. Ellers så kan I potentielt sæve den ind i midten. Så går vi ikke ud side og side. Så kører vi... Uh... Så sæve den ind igennem midten. Kort 1, 20 seconds. Kort 1, 20 seconds. Second game. Love all. Play. Well, not only did the Danish coach take all of his allotted time, 
in that two-minute timeout, but the Danes continued the tactical discussions and after they returned to court. Yeah. What, what was the most important thing there, Steen, that yeah, Rich was saying? They were very uh, uncertain on what to do in the service situation. Um, that was probably the, um, the biggest issue. They felt they covered the same thing, service both of them. One. Oh, I think what after they had served, uh, I didn't get that total. I think it was both when receiving and returning. Uh, that's the same, receiving and serving. Service over. But I think it's worth emphasizing that the Danes actually won the second part of the first game, 12 10. Yeah. So they sort of steadied the ship. Yeah, well, I mentioned it in our previous match uh, when there was a five straight point run at four all. We had a five straight point run in this match at three all. Yeah. And, and that uh, basically was the big difference. Five point difference in the score line at the end of the opening game. Good rally. Get up, get up! He's going to pay an entry fee, Christiansen. <laughs> what a rally. What a rally. He Service seemed over. awfully slow to get up. <laughs> Two, off. Now, he could have got up there. Could have got up earlier. Back on court. Yeah, it ended up a wonderful rally, though, didn't it? Two all. Played. Well played, Alexandra. Uh, one of the things they discussed the Danes was that it, it, it was obvious that they were scared of Wei Yashin, and I think they're too scared of her. She's playing well, but, but so are the Danes. Yeah. So you can't be too scared of your opponents. That, that, that's, that's just um, detrimental to, uh, to your game. That was a beautiful cross court guided shot from Alexandra Boya. I think Matthias Christiansen needs to um, go for angle over power in his first attack against uh, Wei Yashin. She's been brilliant in uh, uh, defense so far. Well, this is also a bit of a grudge match, isn't it? Not only did they play last week when Chris Janssen had to retire injured, it was, this is a repeat of the quarter-final at the World Championships, isn't it? Yeah, it was this match before That's right. the bronze medal. That's right. Or oh, potentially a silver or a gold. But it turned out to Seven, be a bronze. Two. Service over. Three, seven. Four, seven. She's played five, four or five brilliant rallies, Alexander Boy. Now she's made 
two errors, and I think she's thinking yeah, more about those two errors than the five brilliant ones she played. That's the impression I get from the body language. Very good play from Xiang Sheng Bang. Seven. Matthias, come here. Matthias, come here. Keep your mouth closed. Okay? Dominance at the front of the court, absolutely paramount in mixed doubles. Oh, that's good coverage. become a little Service fast over. and furious. Seven. No, I think eight. the Danes need to be wary of that. Yeah, and we saw the service situation um, trouble there where Alexander was swinging for a shot that was clearly on the way past her. They've just been returning really well, Wei Yashin and uh, Jung. Times Nine, that Boya has eight. played a smash and placed it extremely well, and that Jiang then can't return it. Yeah, that was in between the two Chinese players. Very satisfied with that play, yes, for whole goal. That one playing back into the net. Beautiful angle, and the Danes go to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage. Roligt, når vi taber et par stykker. Ja, ikke? Ryan? Det er så afgørende, at du kommer ind og griber de her baller. Ikke? Men når du gør det et par gange i streg her, så kommer det også til at prikke dem lidt hårdere forbi dig. Okay, så skal der til være der. Når, når, når du har mellembanen mm. stadig, stadig foran, når vi er ovenpå. Men vi kan også godt lige prøve at prikke lidt, kommer tilbage igen, bare du tænker fremad. Okay? Der ligger nogle point, han bare spiller tilbage. Ja, lige præcis. For det er dem der, dem spiller han bare op i skeen igen. Ja. Coach, return to your chair.
11, 8. Play. So I should think the Danish coach must be pretty happy with their performance. He was quite happy. He urged them to keep calm even if they lose a couple of uh, rallies. Oh, that's loose. Uh, I have a feeling it may have even been going over. wide as well. I think so too. 9 11. Yeah. If you're there and it's a relatively easy shot to make the kill, you might as well, I suppose. Get ready. Eleven. Uh, he tried Eleven the right thing, Matthias Christiansen, according to the coaching. But all three points since that mid-game interval to the Chinese pair. I'd love to know what the Chinese coach said. Exactly. You know, in comparison to the opening game, where I felt that Wei Yashin was very dominant at the front of the court, We've hardly seen her no. uh, involved in play at all in this second game. The Danes are trying to play um, past her yeah. or in front of her. And um, there's some success in it. Um, I think Thank the you. Chinese pair have, have uh, decided that they don't want to lift. They, they want the initiative themselves. So there's going to be a huge battle on the uh, front court. 12-11. Yeah, that was a tentative lift from Xiang Xiang uh, Yeah, but probably a little bit too short as well yeah. because of the um, the drift. That's mm, a nice change up in the serve. And the three-point advantage 14, is restored yeah. in favour of the Danes. Should just have blocked it, Junk. It's going oh. right. He's falling down. 15, 11. Junk Jinpang, even though uh, they scored, was it the two first points after the interval or the three, three first points? Three first points. Yeah, after he's the falling down a little bit. Yeah. And that sometimes happens if you if you target a player a little bit more than. Uh, the other. Well, well, well. Five point advantage. Just wide. Service over. 12, 16. Matisse. 
Return the shuttle. Matthias, return the shuttle. Shake of the head of uh, Alexander Boy. After that missed smash. It, it's so three, uh, three errors and three rallies from the yeah. Danes. And it's so important, especially for the female mixed doubles player, to sort of uh, do away with the past and still hunt the shuttle. If you if you don't get those feelings uh, put far away, then it's most likely to influence you in the, the following rallies. Out. Service over. That's the second service error. 17. From where you are sitting. It's, it's mentally so tough to uh, to play that um, female mixed double role. I'm glad you said that, Steve. Yeah. yeah. I think, because I think it's, it's the female player in the mixed doubles discipline that has the biggest influence. If she can cope 14. with all these pressures and put yeah. things behind her, if she can has the courage yes. to go for the net play and so on, it, her role is huge within the mixed doubles discipline. And I don't think that's understood enough because most of the time, or a lot of the time, it's the, the man smash or final shot that wins the rally. Oh, they're challenging. We are seeing uh, challenges. Paul I couldn't out. see it uh, for Wei Yashin. Oh, it's Wait. clearly wide. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 19-14. Play. Two points away from winning this second game and forcing a decider. That's the smash that he needs to utilize, Matthias Christiansen. Not so much power, but steepness. So on a run of four straight points, now six game point opportunities for the Danes. Oh, that's the return of serve. One game all. 21-14, the second game. And we will be treated to a third and deciding game. And Alexandria Boye, 21-14. One game all. Yeah, that was halfway down the net from Chiang Zhengbang. Thirty-seven in minutes into the match, and it's one game all. Yeah, precis. Men det er kun hvis vi spiller blod, helt blod. Ja, så er det bare ud af at tage fat i den, for ellers så går det for stærkt på side til side. Okay. Stadig 0-0 på hendes serv. Det løser vi faktisk rigtig fint, synes jeg. Okay? Vi er nede til at skære på fokus om i hovedet. Final game. Love all. 
play. Well, there's no doubt the momentum is with the Danes, Matthias Christiansen and Alexandra Boya. Oh, that's just long. One. Anything new added in from the coach? Uh, the most important thing, initiative. And if uh, they play into the front court with pace, then uh, they want Boyer to, uh, to take one of the sides that she clearly selects what she's covering. Whoa! That's fantastic play. But, and the fact is that the Danes have played better than their opponents since 11-4 in the first game. That's wide. Three. Long. Well, this is a good start by the Danes. And again, like you said, Jill, we are uh, Shin pretty much out of the rallies. What on earth has happened to Jiang Zhengbang? That's fantastic play. Really well done by Sandra Boy. Keeping her fingers off the uh, service return, but then getting into action. Oh, yes, that's well taken. Service over. Yeah, I think Christiansen may have forgotten momentarily Five. that she's a lefty. Oh, that she was there. <laughs> oh, that she was there, <laughs> yes. She's still alert, Wei yeah. Yashin, with the racket. She's taking it high at the net there. Yeah. What? Wait. Okay. Stay. What? Ah. Two, five. After playing that downward shot from Three, the back of the court, five. the left-handed way are sin quickly in incredibly quickly. Look at this; she plays the drop. Look at her go forward. That's amazing. And it turned the whole momentum of the rally. Service Good over. service return Four. from Jung. Six.
There's no need to shout and roar when they make an error. When, OK? Yeah. I think that's right as well. As far as sportsmanship is concerned. Yeah. Well, he's he's dicing with death here is Christiansen because another yell of delight when an opponent made an error. Error on the return of serve. He's just been warned about that. Maybe he was looking at his opponent, was he, when he yelled before? I don't know. I think there's, there's a slight difference between making an error on the serve and an error on the service return. Yeah. But I think we've seen... Nine. A really positive trend with the umpires here. Not that we should go into a long dis uh, discussion, but I like the umpiring we've seen so far. Yeah, and that's obviously on the directive of the tournament referee. Tournament referee Chris Lawrence from the United States of America. Because they've been far sharper, the umpires, haven't yes. they? No time wasting, better behaviour. That's well taken, my goodness me. Five. Yeah, better behaviour demanded of the players. That's extremely well taken. I didn't even think that was particularly loose, that block from Christiansen, and yet she pounced on it to play the winner. Yeah. Fantastic play. Six. Nine. Um, preventing the Danes from getting the upper hand in the service situation, which they've done on a number of occasions here in the third game. Reached. <laughs> Did the Danes win that rally? Ten, well, he started with Alexander Boyle shouting to Matthias Christiansen, get up, get up, get up! <laughs> <laughs> and then running in front of him to save it. Thank you. Ten, six. It's gone long. So, to the change of ends here in the deciding game, and it's a five point advantage for Christiansen and Boyer. Five point advantage against the number eight seeds, Jiang Sheng Bang and Wei Ya Sin of China. Ja, det er også okay, bare lige bare vi finder de præg, som vi gjorde i starten her. Og, lidt, og hvis du er ude af balance, så må du ikke ligge og spille mænd ind her. Der løber hun. Okay? Godt. Vi skal spille de præg til ham, og så skal vi mixe det op med at trykke dem igennem, når de står side side. Kan vi følge med det? Det kan vi sagtens. Court 1, 20 seconds. I would imagine, Steen, the Danish uh, coach there, Jesper Hogo, just reinforcing that they should continue doing what they're doing. Yeah. Oi. Oi. Oh, Oi. Got in each other's way. Yeah. And Matthias Christiansen, he should have left one early on in the rally that was going wide right. Yeah, emphasizing that um, they should sort of just poke it down to Zhang Chenbang and he will play the mid-court area. Eight, 
11. Wow. That could have been 12-6. No, 8-11 instead. Yeah. Nine. Every 11. time she gets involved, where you are sin, she's having a big impact on the rally. They needed to stop that little run. Nine. Yeah. Those three straight points have given the Chinese pair belief that they could come back and win this. That's a steep smash. Service That's over. a lovely smash. 10, 12. Four of the five points since Play. the change of ends in this deciding game. One in favour of the Chinese combination. As she got involved 11, again, 12. the left hand up, she made the difference. Get ready. Make that five of the last six Appears. points since the change of ends in favour of this combination. Yeah. I have the feeling that the Danes are stressing a little bit, that they feel they need to do too much. Ah! Oh, they're challenging. Alexandria Boye challenges called in. Well, both the Danes' arms went up immediately to indicate they wanted to challenge. Here we go. Yeah, it's clearly a good challenge. Service over. 13, 11. Play. Oh, they're challenging again. Challenges one. called in. I have a feeling it might have touched a bit of the line. Well, it was mighty close, I know that. Here we go. You're absolutely right, Steve. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 12, 13. Play. Oh, that's a good shot. Service over. Generated 14, a huge amount of power on that backhand drive with very little backswing. Christiansen. 
super play. Service over. 13, 14. The nerves are jangling. I think they are. It's important that the Danes use the back court once in a while. If nothing else, then just for investment purposes. It's going wide. Good return of serve. Service over. We haven't seen many pushes on the return of serve into the deep back corners. Especially not on uh, Wei Yashin's serve. That's lovely touch from Xiang Cheng Bang. Get ready. Double hit. Good spot by the umpire. And I noticed also that the service judge yes. also raised his hand to help his fellow court official out. So, back level. 15 all. And not level for long. 16, 15. Well, took the top of the tape. And so is return from Christiansen. Jensen who fell at the right uh, pace, teasing uh, Wei Yashin into action. A little behind the body. This one here. Yeah. Hey! Two point cushion. Oh, that's a great serve. back the Chinese uh, side of the court and now it's a three-point advantage and the Danes just three points away from making it through to the third round of the Denmark Open the quarter-final stage That's a good smash from Jiang Sheng Bang. 18. Get ready. Service over. Great pace again from Christiansen. Two tantalising points away from gaining revenge over the Chinese pair and that broke their dreams of a medal at their home world championships. Oh, that's a good serve out wide. Ma 
match point opportunities. A rare error from where you are seen. Four opportunities to book their place in the quarter final. Oh, that's good. Play. <laughs> Isn't that fabulous? And they look so casual about it, the Chinese bear. Match point down. Man, they produce a rally like that. Calmly just placing the shuttle into the open space. Still another 20. three opportunities for the home pair of Christiansen and Boya. Oh, the nerves will be jangling even more now as far as the Danes are concerned. Two missed opportunities. Got another two in the main. Matthias, get ready. Yeah. Service error is first. And it gifts the match to the Danes. Coming from a game deficit to win 21-18 in the deciding game. Matthias Christiansen and Alexandra Boyer. An hour and one minute for their victory. And sweet revenge for the quarter-final defeat at the World Championships in Copenhagen earlier this year. Well, I posed the question at the start of the match. I didn't believe that Chris Janssen could be 100% fit after having to pull out and retire at one game all against this same Chinese pair last week in Vantor in Finland. But my goodness, there was no sign of any hampered movement. There was an occasion where he was awfully slow to get up. But he got up and he fought on. 16, 21, 21, 14, 21, 18 in the deciding game in a match lasting an hour and one minute.
Welcome back to Orthen, sir, and it's all second round match action today here at the Denmark Open. Next up, uh, we've got home interest in the men's singles because Anna's Antonsen, the two-time world 